Now, the theme of this lecture is gastrointestinal regenerative restoration, which may be the most concerning topic for the human being. Why will the gastrointestine be discussed first in my lecture? Let's do an analysis. There are two extremely important organs in our human body. One is the lung, while the other is the gastrointestine. The gastrointestine is everyone's body in age with time. The aging of gastrointestine organs is chronic suicide of a human life. We examine the gastrointestine of young people of around 25 years of age. Two-thirds of their gastrointestines are aged, and only one-third of their gastrointestines are in a young state. You see how terrible? As we know, natural substances such as oxygen and food, absorbed through the lungs and digested by the digestive tract respectively, can provide energy for our body, can then be used to maintain our lives. So the first lecture focuses on the special topic of the gastrointestines. The gastrointestines has a maximum length of about 7 meters. First, let's establish a basic understanding of the gastrointestines. I know you are more concerned about the damages due to gastrointestine aging, but first we must understand the internal structure of the gastrointestines. We already discussed how long it is. Now let's discuss the structure of the gastric wall. There is the mucosa layer, submucosa layer, muscularis layer, and serosa layer from the inside to the outside of the gastric wall. The gastric mucosa and it looks like packed stones. This is an electron microscope picture. There is a little mucus on the surface of the gastric mucosa. After drinking alcohol, the stomach will secrete mucus, which causes gastric injury. Eating chili and drinking cold water causes some damage, as drinking alcohol does. The human body has the potential to repair itself very quickly by regenerating new gastric epithelial cells. However, when the gastrointestine is aged, this function will be reduced or non-existent. What does the intestinal mucosa look like? From the inside to the outside of the intestinal walls, there are the mucosa, the submucosa, the muscularis, and the serosa. How about the intestinal glands? They are composed of absorptive cells, goblet cells, paneth cells, and endocrine cells, with the function of secreting small intestinal fluids and mucus, etc. Intestinal villi looks like sheep wool protruding from the intestinal mucosa surface towards intestinal cavities. Well, what damages can be caused by GI aging? The first is premature aging. GI aging begins 20 years earlier than the aging of other organs, so everyone can be a victim. GI aging can result in the systematic aging of our bodies. For example, a white-collar worker at the age of 30 seems to be in his prime, but his GI may already be worse than that of an elder woman. His GI is already like that of an elder woman. Later, I will give you cases where I'm sure you will be astonished. GI aging can also lead to other systemic diseases. The next damage is metabolic disorder. Many of you here in the room may have been suffering from metabolic disorders. This judgment is reasonable because our diet is not scientific. Our GIs are not young. So, our metabolism may be distributed and this bad cycle would continue. The diseases such as hyperlemia, high cholesterol, hyperglycemia, fatty livers, and etc. can also be caused by GI dysfunction because the GI cannot digest and discharge the inappropriate things you 